Good evening. I call the meeting of the Darien Housing Authority to order. Uh, in attendance, we have commissioners uh, Peter, Susan, and Jane, myself. Uh, Matt Anderson is here from Imagineers. Myrna is here from the office. And uh, Mr. McClutcher just walked in. We have numerous visitors from both Old Town Hall Houses and the Heights with us this evening. First item on the agenda, we have minutes from the meeting of December the 12th and the meeting of January the 22nd. The chair will entertain a motion to accept those minutes as submitted. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. So, uh, next thing we have the Old Town Hall Houses Paid Bill Report for February of 2019. Good January and February. <coughs> January and February. Any issues, any questions? Oh, yeah. These reports, as Peter noted, these yeah. reports are getting much, much smaller because there's much less payment checks being written for old town hall houses. They're, they're empty, they're closed, they're uh, So uh, I, uh, the chair will entertain a motion to uh, accept the paid bills report as submitted. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Done. Uh, moving right along, executive director's report. We do not have an executive director currently. Um, I can tell you that there's a couple of issues going on here at the Heights. There's an issue that revolves around the lighting, uh, and we're working on getting it corrected. The issue that we have is that we don't own the lights. Uh, they're on our property, but we don't own them. They are owned by Eversource, and it is up to Eversource to correct the problems. We're not sure at this stage of the game what the problem is. There are several lights that are not on when we want them to be on. These lights are on timers, so they come on. Uh, and those timers, by the way, are all getting ready to be changed because we're going to go to daylight savings time, so we'll change the timer. But if a problem is reported to us, we have to go to Eversource and report it to them, and then Eversource has to come out and verify that the problem actually exists, and then schedule a repair. And that takes a very, an inordinately long amount of time. We're looking at what has to be done to see if we can streamline that process. How, yes. This has been going on with the lights open last year. It's been going on for uh, uh, an inordinately long amount of time, yes. and part of that has to, and I'm not making excuses, I'm not justifying what happened, but part of why that happened is because the information about the reports that we were getting weren't getting to Eversource, and that has to do with the change of personnel in the office. We're on top of it now, we're much more aware of what's going on, we will do better in the future, and we apologize for what happened. Now, are the lights supposed to be, I mean, the lights should be on 24-7. They should go no. on at night and go off early when the, the light comes up in the, the morning. The lights are supposed to come on at night when it gets dark. The lights are supposed to stay on until, I believe, 2 o'clock in the morning. That was part of the... midnight, actually. That's the information we tried to get because we're not 100% sure what timers they have. They, they were scheduled to turn off at some time during the night and then come back on again prior to dawn in the morning. Uh, and apparently that timing is not working the way it is supposed to be working. So we're going we're gonna to look at the ones that have been specifically reported as trouble and get those fixed as quickly as possible. But while we're at it, we're going to look at the entire system to make sure that the timing is what it's supposed to be. And we're going to hang in the morning. We'll send over the contract for that. If, if, if Myrna emailed me in the morning, we'll email over the contract for We have three three different service requests with them already. Whatever source. Yeah, but he'll get all that training. We'll get exactly what supposed to do. And then we can assess whether or not they're but fulfilling they're going with those hours or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Another question? Well, we did hand in the numbers of the posts that are out. Yep, we yeah, have, she's we got have that three. all, in, and that's all been forwarded to Eversource, and, and we are working on that problem. We've now become fully aware of what the problem is, which we weren't before, but we are now. And we will make sure that it gets corrected. And again, as we do that correction, we'll check with Eversource, we'll check the contract, 
and make sure we are getting the service that we've contracted for. And the timing. Yeah, we want to know that the timing is correct. The timing has to be changed. The program to out what the way the first one. Okay? Uh, and anything else going on here that I'm not aware of? Well, just this an this issue that keeps constantly being reported, people going the wrong way yeah. on, on the entrance. We actually sent an update email today to all the residents. It's a safety issue that people just keep going yes. the wrong way. It's and a big issue. We keep sending bulletin messages. You know, I don't know what else can we do. <coughs> my, my suggestion would be, since I think we would, most of us would agree that the, the issue stems from people coming out of buildings one through four. Mm -hmm. Do we, do we agree? Yes. Yeah, that's what yes. primarily. That's but what also, I've seen delivery people or anybody here um, yes, go yes. out that way. Or they'll come around. So I don't know if they don't see the sign saying one way, but there's a lot of uh, big trucks that are delivering. If you see a delivery person, get the name of the delivery company and let us know. We will contact them and we'll straighten that out real quick. That's just unacceptable. Yeah. They, they're, the, the, the roads are adequately marked that they're one way. And, uh, you know, I, I, mean, I can understand sometimes people get lost in here. And that's another thing we were wondering. Is there a way that we could put little signs of where the buildings are, the numbers? Because they don't really run in conceptual order. And you get people that are delivering, they don't know where like number one is. Or I'm where. actually making, I'm getting quotes for exactly what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Right now, we're signed there. You see buildings one to four with an arrow that way. Okay. Because okay. we're dealing with that. Yeah, because they, they pull up, like sometimes they'll come down to the end of the parking lot where we are, and I see flashlights, and I'll open my door sometimes and say, who are you looking for? And they have no idea, because they don't know how the numbers are running or anything like that. We'll get some signs made. We'll try to make it better. It's not going to prevent the people who are going the wrong way out. If it's UPS and FedEx, then we need to report those ourselves, but the, uh, the other folks can be people that won't before we just continue to find out. I've never seen a UPS do it. I've never seen. I've Just seen other. <laughs> I've never seen. I never got a report of. I've never seen those kind of trucks doing that. Well, I thought it was delivery. Well, delivery meaning um, furniture or oh, okay. drop offs or you know. I only. I only, I only, only get business trucks. Yeah, I only, right get right reports, right. I only get reports. I only get reports of residents. That's why we constantly yeah. send in the bulletins. You guys had a bulletin today, right? Well, it's that just the last, one. it's not too long ago that I've seen just By bulletin, do you mean you could put a notice on everyone's door? Or no, it's a, whatever option that you choose in the bulletin, either a voicemail or an email, you receive that in whatever option you choose. All right, we'll keep on top of it. Let us know if you can and, and if you can identify who's doing it. You know, and listen, I'm not trying to get, I'm, I'm not trying to get anybody this isn't a thing where we're trying to get people to tattle on their neighbor or anything like that. I don't want to start those kinds of things going on. But the more information we get about what's the, what the issue is and where the issue is coming from, the easier it is for us to deal with it. And we will deal with it. This, this is a one-way street. And there are safety issues that revolve around traffic going the way it's designed to go. Uh, I can tell you from personal experience, I don't belong to the fire department across the street, I belong to the one down the street. But the reality is the fire department knows what's supposed to be going on and they count on that. So if they're coming to respond here and somebody's going the wrong way, that's a serious issue. If the ambulance has to respond here and somebody's going the wrong way, can't, that's a serious can't issue. We, don't we have a camera that... that it does it does in, um it's not close enough to catch any. It's not close enough to catch everybody on. But anyway, let's keep an eye on it. Give it. Don't don't hesitate to call the office and let us know when it happens, and we'll see what we can do to correct it. Okay. Uh, anything else going on around here that I'm not aware of? You got anything, Jane? No. Um, Ernie, you don't have anything else? Okay. Nope. Oh, can I ask you a question? You oh. certainly may. About it. A safety, you know, uh, lock on the back, the doors of, of face the patio. I mean, for me, anyway. Mm -hmm. If I could put a lock on the door for a safety lock, because those locks on those doors aren't. I don't feel really safe with them. Is that from the patio door? Yeah. It's not that bold? Yeah. Like the dead 
their belt on. It's doable. It's doable. Uh, no. Uh, uh, I think it's doable. It's doable over a chain. It is doable. The only problem is that they're glass panels, so if somebody wants to get in, they're just going to break, break the it and then unlock it. It's a lot less hard, though, right? Is that a sliding one? It's not an e It's a French door. I don't know. Let me get back to you. Let's, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll let the management company give us some suggestions. I will tell you, again, off the record, as a, as a person on the side, if we come here for a safety issue, the ambulance or the fire department, and we cannot use the normal locking system to access a, a unit, we'll get into the unit. <laughs> Never you fear. We will get into the unit. And if, if we're forced to damage something because you've done something that has not been authorized, you'll get a bill. That's just the way the lease is written. So I, I hear what you're saying. I take it very seriously. We will look into what can be done to make you need to feel comfortable in your unit. And if you are not, that's an issue we need to correct. So we'll work on that. But uh, we would appreciate it if you hold off doing anything until we figure out the right way to do it. And again, it's not that we want access to your apartment. It's, a, it's strictly a safety issue. We want to make sure that if there's an incident, we have access to do what we need to do. Anything else? Any and also on that, on that one note, um, the back patios were not keyed to a master key. Right. So we can't get in there anyways without an actual key that belongs to that lot. So, oh, well, that's oh, that's huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, now we know. We know what the problem is. <laughs> Which I just want to look and, into. And to me, those doors just aren't. I just want to look into what needs to be done in order to put a ball lock in, and, and then Joe or Bernard will get in touch. We'll get back. Yeah, we'll, we'll look into it. Okay, uh, moving right along. Uh, Old Town Hall Houses Redevelopment Update. Mr. McClutchy. Uh So the good news is we are finally started the demolition over at Old Town Hall Homes. So they have cleared the buildings. Um, they have cleared the site, some of the trees, one of the, the community building itself has is in the process of coming down or down. It's, it's down, down. It's down. <laughs> and they're already the next building. <laughs> and they're gonna to continue to move through the various buildings and uh, things are moving very well there. Um, the financial closing is also coming along very well for as closings can. And uh, we are on target to try to wrap things up towards the end of April for the full closing. Of and everything is on, on schedule and on budget currently. Can we get, I've driven past here several times, is there any way we can get a sign in the front that says something about what the new development is going to look like soon? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, marketing some, signs and state signs and yeah. all the rest of that stuff will go up when the closing happens. Oh, not till the closing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, makes also, sense. Also, you want to get the building down first and get yeah. all the well. Yeah. Okay. There's some pictures okay. of the site. A um, couple of things. The, we've looked at moving the flagpole. I was just over there just before I came to this meeting. Uh, we're going to wait a couple more days. They're not going to get to that area of the property until sometime early next week. So we've got a couple of days. Um, we've got somebody who has the necessary equipment to move that flagpole. Um, we have a location for it that's going to go over to Spring Grove Cemetery. Okay. It appears that we will try, the attempt is going, we cannot figure out how to disconnect the flagpole from the monument. It appears that the flagpole was, the monument was put in place and then the flagpole was put in. And so we're going to move it as a single piece. Now, I want everybody to be aware, there is no risk that we are aware of to the monument. The monument is a solid block of, I don't know, some kind of stone. The flagpole <laughs> is at risk because of its age. We have no way of knowing what the interior of that flagpole is like, what kind of condition it's in. So I want everybody to be aware that we're 
getting this job done gratis by people at both ends, at the cemetery end and at our end, um, they're not going to hold anybody responsible if that flight pole gets damaged and shit. Just can't. If it can't support its own weight, then so we will do the best we can to preserve it exactly the way it is and move it to its new location. Once again, I want to emphasize so everybody understands the Monuments and Ceremonies Commission of the Town of Darien has no desire to relocate that monument because the people whose names are mentioned on that monument from the First and Second World War are mentioned at least one other place in town. So there's nothing unique about the list of names that are on that monument. The monument was put there back when that site was town hall. Um, so there's no, there's nobody saying, oh, you can't, you can't move that because it's dedicated to this. Everything that's on there is represented somewhere else in town. Uh, but we are, we want to preserve it, so we're going to move it. Uh, the other thing that's being moved <laughs> is uh, the ambulance. Uh, we can't keep the ambulance there. The the paramedic ambulance is kept on site. And that's a construction site now, and we want to be able to lock those gates at night. And we don't want, we want that to become a hard hat area. And again, we're working on that. We have a new location for the ambulance. We're just waiting for some legal documents to get taken care of before we physically move the ambulance. We don't expect that to be done by the end of the week or early next week. Is the post you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Three t Unit 310 is kept there. Uh, <coughs> that's the paramedic, yeah. and uh, so we're going we're to relocate. Anything else? Any other questions or comments about old town hall houses? Oh, a question came up today um, about a change that's going to go through planning and zoning. The entry uh, off of Academy Street is going to have a minor modification. I think there's just a question out there right now. Okay. thing is being. Not ready. Not yes. ready for public discussion. But it's so, but it's so minor. It's. it's, it's I, I, that was my comment. Well, that's where the comment was yeah. going. Is that the, the change is so minor, it's of no consequence to anybody. And if I didn't tell you there was a change when we're done, nobody noticed that there was a change. It's that minor. But I don't want somebody coming back later on and saying, "Well, you didn't tell us." So we'll let you know when it actually happens. Anything else? Yeah. Moving right along. Old business. Anybody got any old business that we haven't dealt with? Anything anybody's aware of? I'm not aware of anything. Okay, moving on. New business. I have one quick new business for you. Go ahead. Which is just notifying people that the tree on this property, which is on Norton Avenue, is going to be coming down in the next week or two. Okay, Joe, tell us. Right, because of the utilities and so on needing to have it cleared out. And so everyone should be aware of that. Um, I can do a bulletin. We're all aware. Of it. You know that it's for safety purposes. They don't want to have the the tree coming down in a windstorm like we had a couple days ago on top of wires, and so that's why it is coming down. But in, in, in early 2020, uh, they will begin excuse me begin construction of that intersection, West Avenue, the Road Avenue intersection is going to be widened, and as a result, there'll be some work going on in the corner of our property. And so the, the, there's a few trees on West Avenue that are also going to be lost. We'll replace whatever plant, obviously we're not going to replace these monstrous trees, but we will put new plantings on that corner. <coughs> the corner will be landscaped so that it will look attractive. And, uh, but they're going to widen West Avenue so that they can make a left turn only lane coming in all four directions to try to get traffic moving a little better. And as part of that whole process, they have assured me that they have plans both in conjunction with that and with the uh, project that uh, United Realty is, is undertaking where the stop and shop is to synchronize the traffic lights on the road now so that we don't have this constant stop and go traffic coming up the road now. So those are things that are going to be going on sometime next year. Uh, anything else on that? No, that's that's just the one you could be aware of. Have have and we'll let everybody, you should let everybody know that that tree is going to come yeah, out sooner rather than later. Uh, uh, we've had a request 
from uh, the tenant at one of the houses on West Avenue to move the fence and uh, Not move. No, install. install a new fence at along the West Avenue edge. And I want to remind the commission that when those two houses were renovated, first of all, Myrna went ahead and got an estimate, or Joe got an yeah. estimate, uh, to, to take that fence and put a new fence in along West Avenue, the cost would be $4,700. But before we even consider this from a cost perspective, I want to remind everybody when those two houses were renovated, we had some lengthy discussions here about where we wanted fencing located, and the decision was made at that time that the fencing should be back where the houses are, and that what we were fencing in was the, a fairly large backyard for both of those houses because we did not want the tenants to think that the front yard was a suitable place for anybody to be, to be engaged in any activities because of the proximity to West Avenue. Uh, there's just too much traffic going by, and uh, it's a, it's an issue. So we also had a discussion at that time about um, we did not want the sight line to be um, in, pulling in and out of those cause, causing any problems for people backing out of those houses or coming around the bend from up West Avenue and not realizing that there was a driveway there. So not only fencing, but we talked about not even having plantings, certain types of plantings that would obstruct the, um, the, the sight line. So for many reasons, the decision was thought through and it was decided that the best thing was not to put a fence in the front, not to put anything in the front. Right. And the backyard was a satisfactory uh, amount of space for family living. So the request has been made. Does anybody have any reason to think that we ought to Look any further into this request? I, I don't. I mean, I think if we were going to do anything in the front, I think I would like to see the parking situation made a little better. As we all know, there's a, a, a tarmac parking, and the tarmac parking, and there's a, a strip in between that gets muddy and people park on it. And if we're going to do anything, I would like to direct our funds that way rather than towards fencing. But, um, we, I would suggest if if the commission is okay with it, that we wait a little longer before we make any firm decisions to do anything because as part of the project to redo that intersection, the sidewalk is going to be extended down West Avenue all the way to, it appears, all the way to Fairfield Avenue. Which will, like which will actually, actually put yeah. sidewalks in front of both of those houses and we may take a very hard look at what that looks like when we put sidewalks and at the time we put sidewalks should we do something to alter the aprons leading into the driveways and should we do something to, to do the driveway slightly different mm -hmm. uh, but there's I, I can't see any justification for doing something now <coughs> when it's likely to get changed in in less than a year when they do the work uh, at that intersection mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want for the record to make sure that we're all in agreement that we're not not proceeding with doing anything based on cost. The issues that we're not proceeding on are based on safety issues. This, exactly. The cost is interesting and we have to figure out where to get up, come up with the money to pay for it, but that's not the driving factor at this stage of the game. Are you talking about the driveway? I'm talking about the fencing, okay, the fencing, the whole project. Okay, got it. Got I, it. I don't want anybody to go away from here thinking we said, they said, no, they don't want to do it because it's too expensive. That's not the issue. There are a number of safety issues that, that hold precedence over the cost. Okay, moving right along. Anything else on new business? The people smoke and throw the uh, cigarettes. Uh, that's, and I see a lot of um, high trees where I live. I think there's somebody just smoking, dropping down. And it's a lot of dry leaves. It could cause a fire if they don't. Um, but, uh, put something well. We have a lot of issues. We have a lot of issues with um, with people smoking on the property who smoke cigarettes. Uh, we have me and Joe have personally address a few of the tenants who, who smoke and give them a violation letter. They got after their self after the smoke. It's a constant issue, you know. We warning and we we only know a few of them, mostly in this area. We haven't had any reports from that building. 
Yeah, I see a lot of places before I look. I clean up a lot of Yeah, Joe's been watching. I see it again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I don't know where that comes from, but the, the, where the we trees are. I see in the porch. They're like Virginia Slims, a little skinny. Like yeah, very skinny. So skip some of Could you, Murray, tell us what the, what the regulation is, what the lease says about smoking? Mm -hmm. when these, can you smoke on your balcony? Can you not smoke within 150 it's, feet? It, it's it's, it's said you can smoke outside, so you can smoke in your balcony. You can smoke. But you got to pick up after yourself, but you have to have some type of... Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so, 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 so this is a model of knowing who, who does it. Like example of in this building here, we have two tenants there for six smokers. So we send two violations to them and we have them pick up after we have like they have cigarettes in front of their door a lot. So me and Joe talk to them and we have them pick up after themselves. So so the model know who is doing it. No, they, they is not the this one the lease says that. We'll have to look and see what the lease says, but if the lease says that you smoke on the balcony, then you smoke on well, the balcony. It's but, it's yeah, it's but, there, but there is language on the lease that says you have to yeah. keep it neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. You can't just no, throw cigarette butts off the balcony. It. So if somebody is just throwing cigarette yeah. butts, let the office know and we'll deal with it. Yeah, That's a violation. Yeah, and he's leaves there and get us fired. Yes. <laughs> Because they're doing it in front of, in front of, no, uh, you're saying in front of, in front of their door or, or the porch door? This is a bed inside the tree, they're like coming from us, they're probably, I don't know, I cannot use anybody. Which bills? That is what I mean, where there's two oh, beds in the Whereas porch, you see something. If you could just reach out tomorrow, if we can kind of zero on, on, on. Yeah. Well, I don't smoke, smoke. I hate, can't stand it. I can, oh yeah, I can talk to you. I clean about a week ago. We appreciate that, but talk to Myrna, we'll see if we can't get up. Yeah, we know we'll be able to like keep on track of returns and a violation that if we know. Yeah. Sounds like we have to find a Virginia Slim smoker and uh, control. <laughs> 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 so, it should be too hard to find. No. <laughs> they send the leaves on fire, the fire department will take care of it. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. All right, we'll be right along. Anything else under new business? Have we forgotten anything? From the heights? Oh, I, I, yes. I just thought of one thing. Um, relative to fire, <coughs> somebody in I'm in building two. Somebody had a live Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. We were on the second floor because you could see the trail of the needles downstairs. And they were smart enough to get it out of the building like 20 minutes before there was an inspection. And luckily, okay. <laughs> and luckily Joe came by. I don't know if the door wasn't working correctly or something, but you came by and you went out. There was a carpet of needles out by that trash pit. Okay. The whole tree was there. The whole tree, stain and everything. Again, we know who that is. To, is. And this is the problem. Least. We, you guys know. I'm sorry, but you guys need to let me know who the person is, so I can send a violation to a specific person. But when I'm sitting there right. building two, who it is, like I can't send a violation if I don't know who yeah, it well, is. I, I don't know. And then you guys can do anonymous report when your name is not going to be mentioned and what we do. Christmas trees, are, Christmas trees are tough. It's our issue. We don't know if when it's a real tree or a fake tree. We look at from exterior. We don't go into the unit. Now so upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah, well, we, obviously, this one's a real tree. We got a dead one. You know, we, we, I trust that. But when they're in the unit and we see them, we're like, oh, is that real? Is it fake? And, you know, it's really hard to determine that. Yeah. I would think that that trail would have led us right to the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was, I know it was. We addressed it. Okay. All right. So it sounds like we addressed it. So, 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 so real trees are prohibited. Yeah. Real yeah. trees, yes. Oh, yeah. Can't have a real tree. Can't yeah, we're going have them. Sorry, okay. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, so, talking about throwing garbage and, and all out, what is. It, what are you allowed to throw in the dumpster? I mean, um, for recyclable, I mean, people leave bicycles outside the dumpster, they leave there. big chairs, they leave yeah, well, is, all yeah. kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, is it supposed to go into yes. the recyclable dumpster? A bike, no. A bike would go in the dumpster. If they can fit it in, the garbage company will take it. So, anything that could be fit well, in there. Well, then I think you, every so often, I, I guess I know this has to go well, back out. It does. I, I know it should go in anyway, because both ways we don't allow, but unfortunately it does happen. It happens in apartment complexes. They get a new couch and they leave the old couch for us. 
Um, we don't really have that issue much here though, for furniture. Um, we're you, we're in a big. community, so it'll, it'll, it'll pick up as time goes on. But <laughs> sort of, at, at the end of the day, um, it's, it's, it's a difficult task everywhere to figure out who's leaving what by the dumpster area. Well, well, no, I just want to know what was uh, in, what was allowed to go into the dumpster. You know, what what is allowed? For my the answer or the, the, the dumpster people's answer? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess <laughs> it was. <laughs> <it's laughs> <it's laughs> <it's laughs> they want to pick something. I tell you that my bike, something. they do charge a fee when it's a mattress, a bigger couch. Yeah, they do oh, charge us an extra oh, fee. Wow. Oh, so it's not just what fits into the dumpster. You know, it's supposed to be recycled and garbage going if you have a big furniture. Well, that's what I was wondering because they left it on the side and in the back. Yeah, they, they charge us extra for those yeah. ones. And the one thing we look for is when there's a move out, you know, Keep an eye Keep on an eye. furniture all of a sudden appearing when someone moved out, it's pretty obvious. But on a day to day, it's, it's a tough thing to track down. We look, we look again for uh, the neighborhood to keep an eye out for us, but for the most part, if you can get in the dumpster, and it's you know, not explosive or anything like that, that type of stuff. Oh, I had a good one. Oh, so I guess okay. somebody's complaining in my building that Plan. somebody in our building, which means throws cigarettes, we know who it is. Um, <laughs> we know who it is. We know who it is. Of course, yeah. So this person was washed his clothes in the middle of the night, and this other person's complaining. And I said, just go to the office. Go to the office. Some people are afraid to complain. All right. In the middle of the night, clothes are being washed. And she says, Linda, it wakes me up all the time, all the time. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah. Well, she hears it too. Okay. Well, that's well, that's a girl. She knows I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same woman with the Virginia Street. Something we can talk to this person. Hang on. Just let us know what it is because at least by the way, you're not supposed to do it. I'm telling you right now. I had that last week. I had that last week. I guess this person is going to have a lot of leaf violations. Yeah, they, they, they might not have known about that. And the, the, the reality is we have a lease for a purpose. The purpose of the lease is to make sure that, that everybody in the complex gets to live comfortably. And, and if everybody's not being oh, respectful of that, that's probably And, they, and this person might have a different schedule. Maybe they, maybe they, so, so they didn't know that they could do the laundry. Everybody knows that you can throw your cigarettes under a tree. The, this I person needs to be stuff. reminded of the rules. Yeah. And, and, that's, and that's what our office will do. So I don't, I don't want people to flick their snitch on other neighbors. Just a, a, even a, a message, no name, no nothing. Yeah. And, and then we can pursue that issue and say, hey, are you doing a little laundry at 11, 1130 at night? Could you not do that until the spin cycle goes, you wake up the whole building. Um, and, and then we work on it. And then if it continues to happen, perhaps then we have the, you know, I told you guys though that you guys, can, you guys can write them a letter and drop it off in the office with no name, nothing on it. I don't know who came from. As long as I get the information that I need, then we can do something about it. Did you tell them what I was Yeah, I did. <laughs> How about the handicap spot? People working in the handicap spot that with no stickers, because we usually use it. <coughs> Somebody parks a car in a handicapped space without a handicapped sticker on it, call the police. That's a violation. Yeah, they get a big, big They'll get a ticket. ticket. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to repay them because I'm If you don't feel comfortable yeah. doing that, you can, have, you can call us. And we'll call yeah, again, if you don't want to take it on, call the office. But look, some of these things are, are personal things, all right? Somebody's being sloppy. and. And it's very hard to legislate against somebody who's being sloppy. We can continue to remind them that they're, you're living in a community and you need to have respect for both yourself and for the community. That's this cigarette issue, things like Does that. Does this person have a smoke Slims as well? Some things are not personal. <laughs> some things are not personal <laughs> behavior <laughs> issues. Parking a non-handicapped oh, oh, vehicle in a handicapped no, space no, no. Is it's illegal. It's a period. Woman, it's this boyfriend. isn't something that you have to be coached about or you have to be told of. It is illegal. And if you do it, you will get, and, and we catch you doing it, not we, but the police, you'll get a ticket. And it's a very expensive ticket. So if somebody's doing it, call the office and we'll get somebody out here to do something about it. Yeah. If you see it, so our part. I think people see it. If you see a car parked in front of a fire hydrant, call the office and we'll get somebody to do something about it. Okay. 
paint These that. Things are, these are illegal. It's, period. It's, it's illegal and annoying. You know, that's yeah. it's just not the way to behave. Yes, one. <laughs> so you know, do have a fairly new complex here. Yeah. And you got all of these problems. I, I hope we don't get those problems over. Okay. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it sounds like, and, and because this is going on Channel 79, I want to make the comment that it sounds like, uh, it sounds like, you know, all we have here are problems. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Yes, there. Any time you have a large community. You're going to have incidents that are going to be problematic. Well, instead of people complaining about it, call the office and tell the office. Right. There, there are there are remedies to these but situations. So slow is doing this wrong, and and we can take care of it. If Don't we're aware of it, we can take care Correct. of it. Correct. Some of this is just I was. I mean, yeah. I haven't been aware of it. If you guys make me aware of it, and just I'll be able to solve it. I mean, we told the office that nothing's been done, and that's that's covered. That's different. But we different. haven't even hear about it. Some of the ones that you're telling us. Okay. Is there anything on people? All right. Sorry? Yeah, I'm about to move on. Oh, the, the, we, we've, these were all covered under new business. We actually should have been talking about the resident associations. We've talked about a number of issues here at the Heights. Is there anything else anybody wants to get on the table right now? How about Old Town Hall houses? It's a little more difficult for Old Town Hall houses because everybody's scattered all over here and then, but if you've got something, let me know. This is real old business that goes back to when you were building, they were building these apartments yeah. here, when they knocked down the houses. We had a sign on the, facing the Rotten Avenue of the two soldiers that had passed away, and Alan O'Neill was named after them. Yeah. We had this sign made. That sign has never been put back up, and we were told it was going to be put out, back up somewhere on this property, but we've never seen it up. Yeah. I have that sign in the sure. main shop. You do still have it. The sign well, then I think it should be up because it rep those men represented, they were in the service. It's place the that it's original yeah. 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 And it said, yes, and it has a little history. Yeah. We also yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. It's in good shape. Okay. Decent shape. It's got a couple shapes. 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 Yeah, because. Yeah. 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 We'll get right on. We know where it is. These guys can make the decision yeah. where to locate. I think quite a while ago somebody said there was going to be a ceremony about it yeah. and everything. When they did that, but we can do that. It never happened. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Matt, it's going to be very appropriate. Joe, send them a picture of it. You guys figure out what we're going to do and then uh, put it on the schedule. Here. We'll do it. We'll, I would suggest we wait until the weather gets a little nicer before we hold off our ceremony. Just a suggestion. Anything else? Anything from Old Town Hall Houses? Anything we're not aware of? I'm not aware of anything. There's nothing there. Yeah, no. As I said, we are making progress. Oh, I do have one item I should have brought up under my business. Uh, I would like the commission to... Uh, um, I've got a couple of emails from the lawyers. And when I say the lawyers now, we have a number of legal firms involved in all of this. And the one item that needs to be taken care of in public is uh, we need to know who are the authorized signatures for paperwork that's going to start circulating about the bonding issue. And I'm suggesting that I would be the number one signature, and as the treasurer, Peter ought to be the number two signature. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would like the commission to agree that that's what we're going to do. Yeah. You vote an official motion for it? I, I think we should, just so we have a, a record in the minutes that we've done it. I will make a motion that we designate Joe and Peter as the signatories for legal and bonding purposes. Aye. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Uh, and just so everybody knows, we're not signing documents that relate to issues that have not been approved. These are just, we've approved the bonding, we've approved the allocation of funding, et cetera, et cetera. As the paperwork finally filters through, we want to be able to just sign it off and get on with it. Uh, anything else? If not, then the chair will entertain a motion to adjourn the public session move into executive session for the purpose of discussing some contractual issues 
we will not be coming back into public session to vote on anything after the executive session. There's nothing going on in the executive session that requires a public vote afterwards, so we're done for the night. Thank you for coming. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Just so much. Second. Yeah. Done. <laughs>